Father, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we thank you, Lord God, this morning for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We thank you, God, that great is your faithfulness, great is your goodness. Thank you, Father God, that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, I invite the presence of the Holy Spirit right now. I invite the presence, oh my God, of Jesus Christ right now. I invite the presence of the Lord God Most High right now, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I invite the host of heaven. I invite the army of the Lord. I invite my God in the mighty name of Jesus, the elders right now surrounding the throne of the Lord. May the cherubims and the seraphims, my God, come on and flap their wings, even as we pray over America this morning. God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Israel. Oh my God, the great I am that I am, the was and is and is to come. Alpha, Omega, beginning, ending, first and last. You are God and you are God all by yourself. You are not a man that you should lie, not the son of man that you should repent. When you speak a thing, it shall come to pass because your word said your promises are yes and they have the amen. And I say on today, oh God, so be it. May we see the promises of the Lord fulfilled in our day. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Well, praise the Lord. Warriors of God, good morning. Derek Lynn, we're praying for America and time spent with the word. The book of Psalms, chapter number 89, starting at verse number 17. You are their glorious strength. If it pleases you to make us strong. Let me read that again. You are their glorious strength. It pleases you to make us strong. The Bible says that the Lord is our glorious strength. Our strength is from the Lord because the Lord knows that we get weak, we get tired, we grow weary. But he says, do not grow weary in well-doing. He says, because your strength is from me. And it pleases him to make us strong. Let the weak say today, I am strong. Come on now. Let the sick say, I am healed. Let the poor say, I am rich. Why? Because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. Verse 18. Yes, our protection comes from the Lord. Come on. Our protection is from the Lord. Why in the devil in hell does foolish, my God, wicked men and women think that they can come against the ones that God has appointed for himself? Come on now. Our protection is from the Lord. If the Lord has to cause a lightning and a thundering and a shaking and an awakening to take place, just to let people know that the people they are coming against are his, he would do just that because our protection is from the Lord. And when the Lord protects us, my God, not a fingernail will be broken in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for that. In Jesus' name. And the scripture continues, it says, and he, the Holy One of Israel, has given us our King. The Lord has given us our King as a nation. The Lord has given us our leader. And for some odd reason, my God, we know exactly why. Men and women are trying to destroy that which the Lord has appointed, that which the Lord has anointed, that which the Lord has ordained for such a time as this. But yet again, they have formed their weapons all around. However, their weapons are being returned, not 30, not 60, but 100 fold in Jesus Christ. Holy name, I pray. Verse 19, long ago, you spoke in a vision to your faithful people. You said, I have raised up a warrior. <laughs> I have raised up a warrior. Let me tell you something. The Lord will not raise up a warrior if he has not put everything inside of that warrior that that warrior will need to fight the good fight of faith. The Lord himself, he said, I have raised up a warrior for your time in your season. I have raised up his, my God, his warrior he has raised up in our day. Now watch this. Watch and see what it says. I have selected him from the common people to be king. See, you can just choose a common person to be king unless the Lord has 
anointed, appointed, ordained, and approved of that common person. See, when it comes to God, he doesn't see as man sees. The Lord looks on the heart of the people before he select them. He looked on the heart of David and he said, this is a man after my own heart. Come on, somebody. And so we come praying for America today. The Lord himself has appointed a leader for this nation for such a time as this. And wicked men and women are coming against the will of the Lord. Do not come against the will of the Lord because if the Lord has to cause a building to crumble, mm -hmm, to protect the one that he has appointed for such a time as this, he will. Why? Because he is God and he is God all by himself. Come on now. The Lord is the Lord and my God, there is nobody else like him. My God, every religion have their own gods they pray to. We have the name of the Lord our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who is a covenant keeping God and there is nobody like him. For whatever the reason the devil in hell believe that he can come and touch that which God has anointed for such a time as this. My Bible tells me, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Do not touch the one I have appointed for such a time as this. Yes. They are fighting the battle on every front to destroy and take down the one that the Lord, I'm telling you, not the one the people have selected. Because thank you, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. I would never, ever want to be approved by a man or a woman. I would never, ever want to be appointed by a man or a woman. I would never, ever want to be chosen by a man or woman. I'd rather be appointed, chosen, ordained, called, anointed, and approved by God. Because when the Lord God anoints, appoints, approves, my God, and sets you in a place, the mountains can crumble against you. Mm. But they will not succeed. Come on, Holy Ghost. The whole army of hell can come against you, but they will fail. Why? Because it is the Lord God, the creator of all things created, who has placed his hand upon us. And the scripture we read, it says, the Lord is our protection. The Lord protects us. The Lord defends us. The Lord is for us. The Lord is with us. We will not, we cannot, we shall not give up. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have come too far. And yes, it seems like the enemy is winning and everyone is strutting their stuff and they feel like they cannot be touched because they are calling the shots. Heaven is the one who's calling the shots. And when the Lord God gets ready, oh, he will pick up a building and move it from my, its original foundation to prove to the world that he is God and he is God to them that diligently, perpetually, and continually seek him. So on that note, let's pray for America. These stupid, ignorant, foolish people, because that's who they are. That's exactly what they are. How? Because if you have some some good common sense and you read the scriptures, you will know never to come against anyone that the Lord himself has appointed. It is better to back the hell off. Uh, come on, Holy Ghost back hell away, move hell far away from the one that God has appointed because no matter what hell try to do to destroy the appointed one of God, hell will not succeed. Thank you, Father God, for the blood of the lamb that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Thank you for the grace to blow the shafar and sound the alarm on your holy mountain. Thank you on today, Father God, for the grace to come and pray over this nation. Thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we come praying without ceasing because we know that faith without works is dead. And so we add works to our faith in addition to prayer and fasting. Because God, we know that we are dealing with this kind of demon in Jesus' name that can only come out by way of prayer and fasting. Father God, we come shaking your face, believing in the power of prayer. Believe that before we call, you will answer. And while we are still speaking, you will hear. Father God, we know, my God, what your scripture has said. And you are faithful, God. You are true to your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as we bring you back in remembrance of your word, you will bring your word to pass because Jesus Christ is the word. And so we bless your holy name on this morning. God, I'm asking that you will continue to shake the follow ground. <laughs> 
of the foundation of the meeting place of the wicked. <laughs> Wherever the wicked are hosting their meeting, whatever is in the conference hall, wherever it is that the wicked are holding their evil plans and plans and meetings, Holy Ghost, uh, you have permission, my God, to send the angel of the Lord to put the writing on the wall yet again. You put the writing on the wall before <laughs> and an evil and wicked king went cracking and shaking to his knees. I'm asking you to put the writing on the wall once again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that during their meeting when they're at the height of God <laughs> of their decision making and they are excited and rejoicing and thinking that they have this thing in their back pocket. Father, send the finger to write on the wall once again. Send the finger to write on the wall yet again to let them know many, many tekela ufalsin. <laughs> you have been found and wanted by Father God, put them on the scale of justice and let the scale tilt against the plots of evil in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you and I praise you unto that because America will be saved. America will be free. America will be delivered from the hand of wicked men and women. America will bounce back from this, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus and by the grace of Almighty God, we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Thank you for preserving your people in the midst of the storm. Thank you for protecting your people in the midst of the storm. However the storm comes, Father God, we stand firm and we speak to the storm and we say, be still in the mighty name of Jesus Christ on today. We thank you that in the midst of it all, the anointing of preservation will preserve us because of your grace and your mercy. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray on today. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Have a fabulous, blessed day. Know this one thing. No devil created a day. Do not let a demon, my God, affect your day. Do not let a demon frustrate you. Do not let a demon mess up your day. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for the increase of discernment that we can smell a demon from afar and bind it in Jesus' name and lose the presence of the Lord. May the glory cloud accompany us as we go out. May the glory cloud bring us back home. May the pillow of fire burn around us as we are out. May the pillow of fire burn around us when we are home. To God be the glory. Great things he has done and greater things yet to come. Until the next time, warriors of God. Shalom.